All right, so I wanted to make this video. I'm working on a 96 Ford Explorer XLT 4.0 V6. And I'm gonna show you guys how to properly take out this portion of the car right here, this whole dash itself, in case if your lights don't come on, or if you're like me and your miles and your miles are stuck and they won't turn over. So there's two easy ways to fix this. Uh, the first thing, if, if, if your speedometer is working, this ain't working, but that is working, then you're gonna wanna crawl up under your right car. Driver's side. And you're gonna look behind the transmission and you're gonna wanna swap this out right here. Can't really see it that well, but that's where your transmission goes to the drive shaft. It's gonna be right here and it's gonna be near this oxygen sensor pigtail. There's only one bolt holding it in. I believe it's a seven to a 10 millimeter or it might be an 11, but you take that out, you swap it with a new one and then you just put, hook it all back up. Now if, now if that doesn't solve your problem, I don't know how much the part is itself, but if that doesn't solve your problem, then the first thing you want to do is disconnect the negative terminal. There's going to be, you see those three holes right there? There's three bolts to hook up to it. One of these three right here, they're seven millimeter. You're going to want to pull the dash. You're going to want to take out this bolt right here. That's what it looks like. You can take it out all the way if you want, or you can just have it propped up. You're going to want to crawl up under here right here by the brake release there's going to be a bolt you pull back your hood there's going to be two bolts right there oh shit! i'll fix that later and there's going to be one more along this corner right there so once you do that you got all the bolts taken out give it a good tug see what all's holding it And there's gonna be these little clips holding it in, so just be careful with that. Make sure you don't break them. Right, we got that taken out. We lay that there. Okay, so the easy way to do it is put on your parking brake. So the next thing you want to do is actually get that off. Mine doesn't have it, but there's gonna be a bolt sitting here on the left hand side, right here below the dim light in this little hole. Mine doesn't have it, but it'll be at eight millimeter. You want to take that out, and then you want to take out this one this one and this one Okay, so one other thing you're gonna need to do, there's gonna be a little bolt right there. You see it? You gotta take that out. I didn't see it. You might not be able to see it, but there's one right there. Also, while you're doing this, be careful because if your emergency brakes are going out and make sure you have them damn emergency brake down all the way because I thought I did. Also, be on the safe side. Chalk off these front tires or something. Just do that for an extra safety measure. Pull it down. So I think it'd be hard to get out. Now you're going to give it a good tug. See? There we go. See what else is holding it. Hmm. 
Now you're gonna wanna unplug that. Make sure there ain't nothing else holding it anywhere. Or you could just pull the knob off and then lay it down to the side. Now this piece, this part right here, you're gonna wanna crawl up under your steering wheel without hitting anything. All right, it's kind of hard to see, but you're gonna wanna take this flathead, get behind here, lift it up and unplug it. Cause there's gonna be plastic clips over a little metal groove, over a little plastic groove, I mean. And you gotta get that plastic off of the, uh, the little lip that sits on. All right, so once you get those two clips unplugged, you wanna pull it up just a little bit to where it bumps up to your blinker and to your gear knob and you want to pull straight up so we're going to set that over there now you're going to want to take out this bolt this bolt one over here and one right back down in there and i believe those are seven okay those are seven millimeter uh don't touch that bolt right there do not touch that bolt we'll get to these little small ones here in a second we'll get to those in a little bit all right, so once you get to where you can get it off, uh, you gotta try to get your hand back in there and plug, unplug all of them connectors. And if I'm counting right, there's two to three in the middle and this little black wire right here. I'm wondering right now that getting these plugs out are a pain in the ass. Because I've been sitting there pulling and pulling and pulling and I can't even get that white one out of the bottom. But, uh, Try to get those out and then the whole thing will just unplug. So just disconnect every wire plugged in and then the whole thing itself will pull right All right, out. so once you got the three plugs disconnected, you want to flip it over. Now, you're going to want to push. There's a little pin right here. You want to push that in. This one will lift up on the other side and this controls your gear shift. And if you need to adjust your gear shift, I'll make another video about it. And you're gonna to wanna to replace this part right here. So now that you got all the stuff disconnected, you wanna set that out the way. And there you go. Once you get all that stuff disconnected, make sure you remember where each cable goes for me. I don't know how it'll look for you, but if you need to put a piece of tape or something on there to mark them, you could do that. But me, it's easy to remember. White on the left, black in the middle, white on the other side. So now, also, the fuck was it? A piece of plastic fell off somewhere. Uh, now, if you need to replace your bulbs, all these, like that, like that, and like that, and that, that's your bulbs. So now we're going to take apart this thing. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. All right. I would recommend buying this thing. It's a ratchet screwdriver set. You can get it 10 bucks at Walmart or a track supply. So now what you want to do is go around, take out all these gold screws all the way around. There's one, two, three, four, five. You need to take out six. Hold on. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four on bottom, three on top. Once you've done all that, lift this up. You can clean that if you want. I'm gonna clean mine before I get done, get all the fingerprints off. Now, you're gonna take a small flathead. You wanna get it under here, gently pull this side up, gently pull this side up, gently pull the middle up. You wanna take it, gently, gently, there you go. We're gonna set that right there. This middle side, we're gonna turn it this way. Get up under there without breaking it. Just like that. Work our way around. There we go. Whole thing comes out. All right, so once you do that, you're gonna wanna get a flat head when it's sitting down in there. You wanna get a flat head, be careful while you're doing it, try to warm it up, work it up, work it up, and you wanna twist it 
and it pulls straight out. Now, there's gonna be a little white piece of plastic sitting on here, which you can see mine eight miles broke off in there. So what this gear right here does, that turns that to make your miles spin over. So that's the reason why my miles didn't spin. Let me see if I can find that piece of plastic that fell. So as you can see, that's what sits on it, but look at that. That thing broke. That's the reason why my miles will never spin over because this sits on this. And you can see it's corroded and broke. So we're gonna go to the part house, see if they got one. And while we're at it, we're gonna take out some of these bulbs and get new bulbs and we're gonna put LED bulbs in here. But if your gear is broke, that little small gear right there, if yours is broke, which mine ain't, I checked it. You wanna get a flathead in there, push it that way and it'll come right out. And then when you put it in, you wanna try to worm it in there. Actually, is mine broke? Hold on. Okay, so mine isn't broke. But if your gear itself is broke, you want to slide it out, put it, warm it back in, push it in. And also another thing, be careful while you're doing this. Make sure you're setting it down on something smooth because you can see that right there, that little stem right there broke off on my RPM, but that's all right. Uh, once you crank up the car, it'll get going, but we're going to set all this stuff down we're gonna take out these bulbs. We're gonna take this with us and we're gonna see if we can get a ride up to the part house. I can't take this because I don't feel like I have to put all that stuff back in and take it right back off. Can't take that because I gotta get the water pump for that. So I gotta call somebody, see if I can get a ride over there. See if the part house has got that piece itself and some LED bulbs. Okay, so this definitely needs to be replaced because you can see right there, it broke off. You can see it right there. Because uh, the little ring's supposed to go all the way around, but you can see it broke right there. So we're gonna stick this somewhere where we will not lose it. And we're also gonna replace all of these bulbs. So how to get these bulbs out, get a needle nose, twist, pull, set them down. Here's the good news, here's the bad news. The good news is I can get my hands on the worm gear and the bulbs I the need. The bad news is they won't be here till Monday yeah, or Tuesday. That's how you get it out. That's how you replace it. You find out your part is broken, if it's the speed sensor, the gear, or the worm gear. That's how you tell. And if you wanna go ahead, go ahead and replace all your lights and stuff, do everything that you wanna do. So uh, if this helps you out, I'm glad it helps you out because it took me forever to actually find a video on how to do it for my making model. So if this helps you out, let me know.